Okay, listen. Uh, I'm going to get a rock. Yeah, I'm going to get a monster. Okay. Wow, now you're going to play with it? Okay, get your ball and put them over here. Get your ball and put them over here. That's right. Put them over here. <laughs> So what do you, what do you do? Go like this, like this. It, it go like this. Really small. See. And you go like this. My my father used to tell me, make fina fina. <laughs> and do really clear like that. Because, you know, when you cook it, it melts it. Homemade handle because it broke, but who needs a new knife? So my no-no can't speak because he had throat cancer. And my no-no can't hear. So it's an uh, interesting combination. I'm going to ruin my makeup. Cutting onions wasn't a good idea. What are you doing? Hey, look, Charlotte, look. Radicchio a foglie. That means just cross the leaves, does not into a ball. A bundle, a bun ball. A ball. This, this is dark, this is light. This is called pan di zucchero. This one is radicchio. Radicchio a foglie. But this is called pan di zucchero. That means sugary bread. And this is good for salad. This is good for salad, but the big ones, the old leaves, you can cook them. Cooking ones. Those are beans. See the, see those beans there? They are old already, but they are good. They are good to open them up and get the bean. This year, the green ones, I don't get the beans. I eat the whole, I don't know, the pot, you call it? I don't know what you call it. Smells so good. Put everything together. That's what I do. When it's to the turn red, then you add the uh, white wine. A little bit, a little bit more. That's all. So, I'm gonna cook pasta. Literally. Good. See, Vanessa? Oh, the wine is gone. Look. Got all the too fast. I got smashed. Mix it with the egg. Call your grandfather, it's ready. Put some more cheese on it, like this. You can put a couple of times the cheese like this. And then you put some of this on top again. And it's done. You gonna eat this much? Yeah. Okay. This is a lesson from Nono. So Nono, my question to you this week is what's your biggest regret in life? And what would you recommend to a younger person to avoid making the same mistake that you did? To answer that question, I have to start from the beginning. For example, when I was very young, I wanted to be uh, a sculptor. I started learning from a local artist how to sculpt clay. After that, I want to learn music. I start learning music. I uh, a trumpet, and then French horn. Then after that, I want to go to art school, learn paint to be a, a painter. All these things, I did a little bit of each. I learned a little bit of the sculpt, a little bit of to uh, play uh, instruments, 
a little bit to, to play accordion. And I was pretty good at art school. I did all these things. Then, unfortunately, I could not carry on with school because no money. <laughs> so I came in Canada and, uh, well, in Canada it's pretty good, but I could not be, I could not make a living on uh, playing music or being an artist. So I had to go painting a house and I did that for 40 years. After that, I did some artwork and we built the museum, Rock Legend, and that was okay. But unfortunately, I got sick with many cancers. So I couldn't do anything. Now I can't do anything no more. So to answer your question, my advice to you is this. Learn one thing only. To be good at it. Do it good. If you love it, will not be work, will be pleasure. And you will be good at it if it's one thing. Too many things, like they say, you are master of none. Because you know too many things, but not all of them are good. Because you cannot You're not good at it, because too many things. If you live to be a thousand, yeah, a thousand year old, you could learn many things, but life is short. And advice, that's my advice to you, to the young people. Do one thing, do it good. And don't wait until you retire. Do now, if that's what you want to do. Because you never know what happens when you retire. You could be healthy and you could be sick. And then you cannot do what you want. So that's my advice. That's it. No, no, it's phenomenal. Really good? Yeah. Hey, kids, I want you to know something. When you come in here, it's holiday for me. Okay? That's how good it makes me feel. It was my father's favorite dish. And I used to make this, he's go crazy. Today. They don't have to drink, they don't want to.